Hi right, folks, we're going to be addressing a question I got from a commenter in the review I did on this XKK124 helicopter regarding calibration mode for the accelerometers, or the 6G mode as they call it. And he, had, he was wondering, he was having a hard time, couldn't get into calibration mode at all, regardless of how many things he tried, going by the manual, whatever. Now he asked if I had the same problem. I honestly haven't even tried to uh, get this into calibration mode mine um, up until today and because it was fine out of the box. My K123 however did have some hard drifting as you probably saw in the review and I did have to calibrate it and it was fine. The only deviation from the manual, the manual says you have to have the 6G or the accelerometers turned off to be to enter calibration mode. That is incorrect. They actually have to be on. If we try to calibrate it with just the 3G, you'll see it won't go into calibration mode. Oh, and the other thing that's important, low rates. if you've got dual rates, high rates, make sure they're in high rates or your dual rate is turned off because you want maximum elevator travel for, it, for the helicopter to go into the calibration mode. According to manual, throttle stick down, which it is, 3G mode, which we've got, and hold the elevator down. Three seconds, the blue LED should start flashing. It's not flashing. So we'll take it out, we'll put it into 6G mode or self-level mode. Self-level mode. Try this again. And there we go. The K123 is in calibration mode now for the accelerometers. And the idea is now with that light flashing, you would hover it for, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds as still as possible very still and so the accelerometers can register the hover equilibrium points and then after you land you hold this down again to take it out of calibration mode. If you notice though I was only getting the blue light on the K123. K124 was not flashing so mine too is not entering calibration mode. So two of them, uh, bad product run perhaps, Comments below. If anyone else has got a K124 and it's not entering calibration mode, would love to know. Now we're going to be taking a closer look at this to see if we might be able to figure out why it's doing that. This board is actually missing a component that this one has got. We're going to be taking a close look at that now. Here's our XKK123 and we're going to have a look at the board. And what we want to look at is in the top right corner of the board you'll see a little capacitor up here right there. And we're going to take a look now at the K124. Oh, where is it here? Okay, here's our board. What's well, not the same? Gone. So no capacitor in this one. And if we follow the trace over to this chip, uh, we can see it's going to the second pin in from the top. And the other side of that missing cap seems to be going to a ground rail. It's also sharing the upper pin. And this is an MPU 6050 chip. This is a combination accelerometer and gyro chip. A lot going on in here. It's got a little processor in it. Very powerful chip. Uses low power. Here's the 32-bit processor chip. And this other chip, if you're curious, a CC2500 is the 2.4 gigahertz RF chip. Lots going on on this little board. But let's have a look at this thing. That is the orientation dot. So we'll know which pins uh, are which when we look at the data sheet. Let's bring up the data sheet for that chip, the MPU 6050. These are a really powerful little chip. Uh, it's amazing all that they can do. And you know, if you're at all interested in it, this kind of stuff, yeah, take a peek at this data sheet to get a really cool appreciation of the technology crammed into this thing. Anyway, we want to look for the pinouts on this thing. Oh, there we go. So there's the orientation dot of the chip. And we noticed when it was on the board, this would be the uh, left side of the helicopter. This is the front. And it's the second pin from the right front or right top corner. So it's number 20 CP out and if we go on here CP out that stands for the charge pump capacitor connection 
and let's just see a typical wiring so there it is pin 20 uh, goes through a 2.2 nanofarad capacitor to ground and that's exactly what we saw on the circuit board of the 123 the K123 it had the cap uh, it shared the ground with 18 the trace and then it went up and went into 20 so I assume that little cap, that little SMD microscopic almost cap was a 2.2 nanofarad and what we're going to do is we're going to take it off of the K123 to see if it prevents it from going into calibration mode. I can't see how it will though. Um, this, uh, this circuit shouldn't really have anything to do with calibration. This is also pretty neat, uh, the different axes of gyro and accelerometer uh, measurement. So here's the chip as if it was, here's the, there's the little dot at the back. So this is the front of the helicopter here. Again, this is the left side. So the x-axis would be registering uh, the roll movement of the helicopter. Y would be the pitch and the Z would be the uh, yaw. Back under the microscope with the K123's board. Just applying a little bit of flux here to aid in taking this capacitor off and try to hold it with the tweezers. Boy, it's tiny. Oh, can I get the hot air rework out? Uh, just heating it up and off she comes. Now let's see if that prevents it from going into calibration mode. With the charge pump capacitor moved now on the 123, uh, we'll see if it will enter calibration mode. High rates, self-level mode. Throttle down, elevator down. So it's still entering calibration. The 124 is not. So don't know what's going on. Um, obviously, as I suspected, that doesn't really have anything to do with putting it into the mode. That would probably have something more to do with the uh, CPU. Something is preventing it from going into uh, into calibration mode. So, if anyone else has got a 124 that's not doing this, be kind of interesting to know. Please leave comments below. And now the fun of fitting that little bugger back on comes. Oh, can't wait. Cheers, folks. Have a good one. Now it gets fun trying to fit this little bugger back on the board. I'll clean up these pads real quick. Oh, I don't have the right tweezers. It's just too tiny. Steady. It's like watching a monkey fish for termites with a power pole. Ugh. Anyways, you get the idea. It's going to be a real bugger putting it back on.